Jones. I didn't realize this car was Matt White. I realize these are going over sticker right now for like 100,000, 80,000 right now. I just saw it on the market for like 240. This is like one of my favorite cars in the whole wide world. Dustin, this should be my next car. I want this. Why are you, Dustin, you're angling so bad. What are you doing? G63 Matt White from Factory. This is so freaking nice. It has like the midnight edition, I think it's called, where like they black out the chrome pieces. Yeah, there's still chrome. He left that, but like, dude. Red interior, guys. Oh my. Red stitching, aluminum accents here and there. Look, G manufacture. Oh my god, I'm in love. You are clear brawing my favorite car in my favorite color combination. How's that feel? Do you feel honored? You really like the interior colors? You don't like the red? What's wrong with you, man? You need to become a Russian mobster. Then you can own one of these. <sighs> Dustin, it's scary being a mobster. I don't want to lose a finger. I saw what happened to John Wick. What'd you buy, Ted? So I want to get a uh, cute car for Anita, my wife. This is really fun. So this is what I call a bespoke car from Nissan. What is a Nissan Figaro? It was completely custom made and it's not really a volume production car. So what's very unusual is it's a car from the 90s with chrome. We've got lots of chrome everywhere, which is a common theme for vintage classics. This oh one, I think it's appropriate to put the eyelashes. Oh, I like think on, it's appropriate. Like on the Volkswagen yeah, Beetles? I think, I think it's, I think for this one, I, I, would, I would approve it. Oh, actually, I kind of agree. You know what I mean? This looks like that toy car you got me when I was a kid. Ew, someone vomited on the side of the seat right there. Yeah, I, I mean, it just got in. Oh, dude, that's pretty cool. <laughs> wow, hey, I, honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like the RX-7 has more space. Look at that view. It's pretty nice. Wow. This looks like one of those cars you see a nice, elegant lady driving with like a headscarf around her face. Yeah, exactly. And then it's blowing. The hood opens the opposite direction, which is pretty unique. Yeah, it goes this way, which is really cool. The logo from the Nissan Figaro is called the Fleur Delice. It's a common theme throughout the car. There's three of them here. One, two, and three. You're gonna see it kind of everywhere. The door handles, see it in the door knobs. It has that shape. Part of the door handle frame is like that. You see the window switches are the same thing. What's really neat, also all the switches have that same logo. So it's a, it's a theme that's carried out throughout the car. AC needs to be recharged. It's cool, but not cool at all. I like how the speedometer shakes. Well, I, I, I think that's just old. <laughs> that's so Kevin! What do you think of uh, our new car? I want it. Really? <laughs> Can you believe it's a Nissan? It's a Nissan. Do you know how much horsepower it makes with that turbocharger? You know that horse is class. 75 horsepower. Wow, that's so What? Bad. We put wheels on Model 3s, we put wheels on Model S's and X's, we put wheels on a Model Y today. Four star BFF 112s. We're going with 20 by 10 and a half in the rear and 20 by nine in the front in this really cool dark gunmetal color. They call it carbon graphite. So it's very close to black. It's kind of hard to see details when the wheel is all black. So this is a really good compromise if you even call it a compromise. First time putting wheels on a Model Y and they came out great. We stayed with a 20 inch setup to keep the driving feel relatively the same, but man, the wheels look so much better than the factory. Carbon graphite finish giving you that dark sporty look without taking away any of the details. And for a pop of color, we went with red lug nuts. Light and strong and they come with locks to keep your wheel safe.
here, I have for you a Model 3, not just any Model 3. This Model 3 isn't just a regular brand new white Model 3 that we're tinting right now. It is going to be a transformed Model 3. What do you mean, Haywood? I mean, we are wrapping it, doing this really cool satin chrome red, I think the name. The first time we're using this color, we've done a Model 3 in this red not too long ago, but this red is totally different. It's a lot darker. It's a little bit more crimson. Dude, I like how this looks. Like the shine? Holy crap. You don't get a satin finish, the, the shiny look. Like, you see how like the break here, with all these creases, you just see all the different depth to the shine. It's really cool. It's like a shiny, but it's not at the same time. Trippy, I know. Right, Sean? Don't show this. This is a secret right here. That's not a secret. That's a corner. Mm -mm. That's a secret corner. No one knows how to do these besides me. Oh, 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 okay. So don't show them, all right? Don't show them. Do you remember back in 2016 when the Model 3 was first announced and shown in the dark satin gray color? This color looks a lot like that, but in red. Beautiful combination between the sleek satin finish mixed with the sharp shine you get from the chrome wrap. Crazy, crazy metallic flakes make the color pop like none other. This is a really small detail, but we finally got to wrap the door handles in the same color as the wrap. Most of the time, those remain black, but this way is very reminiscent of the concept Model 3 shown in 2016, as those door handles were also the same color as the car. Besides the wrap, we also tinted all the windows in Photosync to maximize heat rejection since it's hot all year long in Houston, and we ceramic coated the wrap, giving it even more shine and this super slick surface, making it easier to clean and stay clean. Water beats off of it and it's so smooth that towels literally slide off of it with ease. This is one of those colors you have to see in person to fully take in and appreciate how unreal it looks. Alright guys, that is it for the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to work in a car, so hit us up. Our contact info is in the description down below. If you like that rap project, guess what? We got a lot more coming up, so stay tuned for those. I will see you next time. Got anything else to say, Dustin? I'm going to reenact a meme that I've been thinking about. And you're going to title it at the bottom. Me waiting for my friends to watch Ted Lasso. Dustin, is that a meme? This is you twirling your thumbs. Yeah, it's a meme.